Kentucky. Kentucky. Howdy, partner. Wait, no, that's what you say in Texas, right? Howdy. What do you say out here? I don't know. So we are up eastbound I-64. I have bugs on the window. And it's a beautiful day. That's all I have to really say right now. I delivered my first drop out of five. I'm headed to my second one. The appointment's for tomorrow morning. Got another six hours to go. So we're gonna have a nice little evening tonight yet with some time off, make some bitches. And that's it. I'm gonna have to pull over and clean these bugs off the window. Are you guys gonna start complaining? It's a good job. There's bugs on your window. It's a good job. Clean your window. You guys don't really sound like that. I, I really don't hear you in my mind like that. Not all of you anyways, maybe a few of you. Not all of you. <laughs> what? How's it going, man? Good little tail wag, good boy. Feeling good? Good boy. Yeah, I got myself some McDonald's, what? Felt like treating myself to some garbage. How about it? That garbage tastes so good. And I pulled into this Love's truck stop in uh, Kentucky here. Let's find out what town we're in. Uh, I wanted to send in a fax to work and there was a McDonald's across the street. So I figured, hey, why not? Temptation got the best of me. So we're in uh, Grayson, Kentucky. I haven't heard any banjos yet. I don't know where they're hiding, but they're here. I know they're here somewhere. All right, we're gonna pull out of the loves here, get back on the highway, on the freeway. There we go. Faxed in the papers, we needed to fax in. Got some food, if you want to call it food. Plays the part, tastes like food. Now I gotta figure out how to get back on I-65. I'll just follow these people. I wonder how far these drivers go with the flat top sleepers? That truck that just passed in front of me called a flat top sleeper because it's flat with the roof of the, the cab where he's sitting, right? They're the old style, like the old, old classic style. Not very much room in there. It's a little bigger than the coffin sleeper. <coughs> coffin sleeper is, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm explaining this because there's a lot of non-truckers watching. Uh, coffin sleeper is pretty much what it sounds like. It's the size of a coffin but you sleep in it, it's just a bed. You go into the coffin to go to bed pretty much, right? It's just barely enough for one guy to be able to fit in there, and it can't be too big of a guy either. So I wonder how far these drivers go. Like, are they regional, or do they actually do like over the road long haul in those things? I'd like to see how they live in such a small space. I mean, it, it's been done many times. It's been done for a long time. Like these big trucks like I have are a newer thing, right? We're spoiled now. Like my generation of truckers is spoiled. We got GPSs, we got big comfortable trucks, nice highways to drive on. Alright. I-64 East. That was a very busy road to get onto. Potholes! Ah! Dodged it like a boss! Okay. Let's go. Something smells in here. Diesel! What smells? Did you fart? Crack a window, buddy.
It's a rainy day in West Virginia. It seems whenever I come down to the southeast corner of the country here, it's always raining. Doesn't matter what time of year. It's always raining. You guys get a lot of rain here. I guess that's why everything's so green. Still got another four hours, four and a half hours, something like that. Probably gonna arrive at about six this evening. We unload at eight tomorrow morning, so we got some time. I know I've been using different music in the intros and whatnot. I sort of like the way it turned out. Yesterday's, I thought I liked that. I, or I know I like that, but I thought it sounded pretty good. I don't know. Sometimes people uh, don't like it when I change the the intro music and stuff. But it's the same logs. Just since my computer crashed or whatever and I got a new one, I decided to change it up a bit for a while. I mean, if enough people don't like it, well, we'll, we'll see then. What is this? Catching up to a Swift truck. I lose track of how many Swift trucks I pass every day. Are they governed at like 55? Just curious, I'm not trying to make fun of them or anything. I'm just curious because I've never found one doing faster than that. They're not very swift, are they? If they're governed at 55, maybe 60. This guy's doing about 60. Not so swift. I don't know. I don't know much about the company. I've heard lots about them, but I don't know anything personally about them. I guess I'm swifter than you, Swift. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Well, at least the rain stopped. I see some blue skies out there. Ah. Oh, it's been a good day so far. We got four hours to go still, so it hasn't been that long. <laughs> but remember I was saying uh, the company wanted me to install a satellite in the truck? Uh, yeah, we went ahead and did that. And I actually grew accustomed to it and liked it pretty quickly. Uh, we would always communicate through email before, right, on my phone. But if I didn't have cell service, which is like almost everywhere in Canada. Excuse me, I got some burps in me. Woo! Yeah, if you, uh, if you leave a populated area in Canada, chances are you're not going to have very good cell service. So we couldn't communicate very well. Now, doesn't matter where I am on the planet, I can message them and say, Hey, give me work. I want money. I'm right here. Here I am. What can I do for you? You know what I mean? And yeah, it has a GPS tracking system on there as well, so they can tell exactly where I am all the time, which is good. For one, I don't have to constantly email them every day telling them where I am and what I've done. Now they know exactly. I'm right here on this stretch of road right now. They know that I've dropped off my first drop. I don't even need to really send them anything they know I just send them a satellite message saying hey first drop is done that's that uh, another good reason I like the satellite is that they I've noticed that they've sent out group messages from the safety department to all of the drivers at one time the important safety information that we all need to know maybe about a storm uh, an accident or something that's causing delays on a main highway if it's important enough, they'll send it through to all the drivers, right? And then I get that message before I got left out of all that information, and I didn't even know that. Now I've been getting all these messages like, hey, that's kind of handy. That's kind of nice. Someone like looking out for me. That's cool. I'll avoid that accident. Thank you very much. Stuff like that, you know, accidents and whatever else they would want to send to the drivers. And also, lastly, if my truck gets stolen, uh, they know 
exactly where it is. Anyways. So yeah, I... Big two thumbs up. If I wasn't driving right now, I'd give two thumbs up to the satellite that's in here. I think it's good. Hey guys. I think it's time for a weasel. Hey, Diesel, you want to go outside? Lame reaction, man. What if there's more dogs outside? What if there's cows outside? Seriously, man, turn the camera on and that's what you do? Want to go outside? Maybe if I hit the steering wheel while I say that. You want to go outside? You sure you'd like to go outside, man? We can always just keep going. Yeah, we're gonna take you outside. Lame reaction. I was hoping for more of a, you know, like, ah, outside. So we stop at this rest area here in West Virginia. Like every single time. All right, Dave, that's a regular stop for us going through here. And it's such a busy rest area too. I don't know why. Is this the only stop going through here, I guess? I guess so, because we're sort of like, you know, in the hills and the mountains here. I'm just putting together a little bonus video right now of just the scenery. You know, like I used to do last summer, I used to go through like a scenic area, film it straight through and then speed it up later and put it in a separate video for you, just for the people who like that kind of stuff. If you don't like that kind of stuff, you can obviously just skip over them. They're not gonna be labeled as a vlog. They'll be labeled as like scenic tour or something. I think I'm gonna call this one scenic West Virginia or something, or West Virginia tour. Or you can just skip over them if you don't like them. But if you do like that kind of stuff, go check it out. And, uh, yeah, that'd be great. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we always stop in here, and I'm always excited, right? Yes, I'm going to check my texts. I'm going to check my Facebook and Twitter. I'm going to get caught up with all my YouTube comments because we're at a rest area. And I forget every time there's no cell service here. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to show you here. See? Yeah. Nothing. Oh well. Okay, so we're gonna walk the weasel. Are you excited to go outside yet? It's just the camera. I know what'll get him excited to go outside. The leash. Dun dun dun. This'll work. Watch as soon as I stand up, he'll realize that I'm gonna go get it. Cause you know we're going outside, right Diesel? We're going outside with your leash. Yeah, I can. You wanna go outside? With your leash? He said, like, no, yeah, yeah, now I'm ready, man. Flying J once again. Once again, we're at the Flying J. What is rattling here? How dare you? Hear that? One second. Stop rattling. I will find you. Oh, it's the, it's this. Ha <laughs> ha. Everything rattles in a truck, everything. Diesel, we are done our day and it's still light outside. How about that? You're very nice, man. Can we go for a long walk? I guess so. Why not? This truck stop is still completely empty. Look at this. All these empty parking spots. In a few hours, it's gonna be jam-packed. And I'm right in the corner spot here. Right by the bush. The best spot. And the Wi-Fi antenna is... Right there. Right there. So it's pointed right at me. So I should get a good signal here. Right on. Okay guys, let's walk the weasel. Oh, so we just had a nice walk with the weasel. Not very long though. We're gonna wait for the sun to go down. Then we'll go for a longer walk. It's way nicer. It's too hot during the day down here in the south. I love it, don't get me wrong. I love the heat. I just don't wanna be outside in it. I just wanna be in my truck in it. 
I want to enjoy the heat of the south from the comfort of my air-conditioned cab. How's that sound? Sounds about right. Way better than being in winter. I'd much rather be in my air-conditioned cab sitting in the hot south than in my heated cab sitting in the cold north of Canada. Canada's not very cold yet though. Nights are getting a little cool. I noticed when I was at home some of the nights were getting a little nipply. You can see your breath and whatnot. But uh, not too bad yet. Fall always seems so different because in springtime, you know, it gets just above freezing. We're all wearing t-shirt and shorts. And then as soon as we have our first cool night in fall, everybody's bundled up in sweaters. So we're interesting people up there. Anything else to add, Diesel? Would you like to say anything to Lucy? You saw her wearing that matching bandana in their vlog today. Yeah, I saw you looking over my shoulder at the screen, man. Busted. Uh, Jade and John, uh, they're vloggers on YouTube, some of my friends. Uh, the Jade and John Show. They got a dog like Diesel, but she's a lady dog. Isn't she, Diesel? Mm-hmm. And she has the same coloring pretty much as Diesel, except uh, she's got white paws. And I think the same person made them uh, made them both these bandanas. Diesel always sports his. I actually got to wash his. And that same person made one for Lucy too, I think. At least I'm giving credit to that same person. I think it came from the same person. If not, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming because they're like matching. And Diesel is very excited. Look at his smile. <laughs> Man, you're embarrassing me. Stop it. What are you doing? Weirdo. Are you panting through your nose? That's strange, man. That's strange. Okay. Guess we'll end the day here. An early end to the day. For me, anyways. And we're going to edit up the vlog and maybe even have time to watch a movie. This never happens. Not on the road. It's always go, 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 go. And whenever I have a few spare seconds, edit the vlog, get it up on the internet, and then go, 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 go. That's my whole life. I don't have a spare second, really. Yep. I'm not complaining. It's the way I like it. I like to keep busy. It keeps you out of trouble, right? That's one of the reasons I started vlogging in the first place. One of the minor reasons was it gives me something to do. It keeps me out of trouble. Right? It's better than just sitting and doing nothing. At least this way I'm being productive, sharing my life with people, creating relationships, making friends, building something, right? That's the way I see it anyways. All right, Diesel. Anything, anything left to say? Anything at all? You're way too shy on the camera. Tell Lucy you like her bandana. He likes your bandana, Lucy. So Jade and John, Diesel approves. Very nice. Look at he's nodding his head. See it? See it? Absolutely, good boy. Some kind of acknowledgement of me. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. There's a new vlog up every day, 4 a.m. Central Time. No matter what I'm doing in my life, that's what I record that day. So today, we've been in the truck. Tomorrow, I promise, we'll be in the truck again, and the day after, and the day after. Sometimes we're at home, sometimes we're on vacation, sometimes we're just hanging out. But yeah, tune in tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time, to see what I'm doing tomorrow. Me and my dog, Diesel. See you then.